is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. You shoot them. An old friend who used to inform on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, as long as you're burned, you're not going anywhere. There are advantages to training with someone you're close to. Knowing each other's moves makes training more effective. But being involved in each other's personal lives can also make training a lot more painful. Oops. Is there something you want to talk about, Fee? Not really. I know you're not thrilled about me reaching out to the intelligence community, but... I don't have a problem with it. You want your own job? I, I said I'd be supportive. You got a problem. Fee. Oh, Fiona! Are you expecting company? like two days worth of yogurt. That is either a brilliantly disguised bomb, or somebody knows the way to your heart. And they're shy. They didn't stick around. A thank you gift from a client? Well, that's the most you've ever paid for a job. Pretty soon you'll be able to stop bumming money from me. It's a gift from your agency friends, isn't it? Could be. Good for you. Looks like you're getting back in. Meeting a new operative is a lot like going on a blind date. You're bound to be nervous the first couple of times you do it, but live through a few and you get to be an expert. You should arrive early, prepare an exit strategy, and know you could be in for an ugly surprise. You know, I figured you'd run surveillance from the bistro because of the sight lines, but uh, you're the spy, right? This place is better. Better escape routes, better iced tea. So, Michael, you like the yogurt? No, I haven't tried it yet. I was always taught never take yogurt from strangers. Ah. Well, let's not be strangers then. Name's Tom Strickler. And what is it that you do, Tom? Match people with opportunities. It's a bit like an agent. A man with your skills is extremely valuable, as I'm sure you're aware, and uh, just make sure all that doesn't go to waste. You're operating in Miami. No resources, no operational support. That's no way to live. It's not safe for you or the people you care about. And you're the solution to that? Yeah. I'm not asking you to change a thing. You got to just keep doing what comes naturally. And what is that? Surviving? You're great at surviving. Now, you're a man with enemies, we know that. But your enemies have enemies of their own. People that'll pay to have you take care of their problems. It's called synergy. The enemy of your enemy is your financial opportunity. And what's in it for you? 
I'm putting together a deal for you now, actually. I heard a rumor about uh, an old associate of yours who's making a move to Miami. Figure the smart money's on Michael Weston in that little fight. Near the smart money. Any more details on this old associate? Still working on that. Apparently there's some Ukrainian who's very upset about an op you ran in the 90s. I'll let you know more as I get the details. Yeah, sorry, I'm not a killer for hire. Oh, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This might be a killing thing, it might not. Let me do my homework and uh, we'll discuss. There's nothing to discuss. Well, the thing is, this guy's coming one way or another and uh, I think, okay. Okay, you have my number, we'll talk soon. Unless the Ukrainian cut your tongue out first, right? So, who's the secret admirer? Whoever they are, they have good taste in yogurt. His name's Strickler. He says someone I cross paths with in the Ukraine is in town looking to settle an old score. And he's here to profit from any bloodshed. Charming. Who's the Ukrainian? Strickler claims not to know, which is inconvenient because there's quite a few people from that region who would like to see me stop breathing. Hmm. Hmm. Our old guy goes by Beck. He might be able to help. He's made a lot of money for some very powerful people over there. If there's a Ukrainian in town, he'll be able to fill you in. Based in Miami? Mm-hmm. Started as a local gangster and went big time. He hijacks cargo and ships it. Like FedEx. The Kalishnikov set. He's about as connected as a Miami hustler who doesn't speak Russian can get. Think he can get me a meeting? Mm. You might not want me as you go between. I may have intercepted a couple of his shipments once. Sparkling new P90s, Michael. Really deserve a good home. So I get to walk up to him cold. Great. Well, at least you'll get a good cup of coffee. I know his favorite spot. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, Mike, uh, I'm at your mom's. She got some curtains from a guy named Tom Strickler. Is this a business associate of yours? Put it this way. You know that broker that contacted you in East Germany in 89? Yeah, Mueller. Tried to pay me to accidentally blow up a factory during an operation. Bloodsucker. I have my own parasite. Some Ukrainians in town looking for me. If I can get to him before he gets to me. Strickler cuts you a check and you're one step closer to being a mercenary. What are you going to do? Try and run down the Ukrainians through a contact of fees. Sam, can you... Uh... Check out Strickler. I'm on it. No one else gave me a house rewarming present. Not even the guy who blew up my house. Maddie. I thought we were over that. Forgiveness is a process. Pick me up some curtain rods and maybe. Fine, curtain rods. You got it. The cold approach is something you try to avoid in intelligence work. You want to ease into a relationship over time. When that's impossible, you just have to turn on the charm and hope for the best. John Beck, right? Name's Michael. I heard that you might be able to help me with a little situation where it is you're a guy with connections. That's what they say. I just need a little information. And why should I give it to you? I'm a good friend to have. I'll explain something to you, man. I don't have friends. I'm a businessman. I got rivals, I got associates, I even got a few enemies. But friends. Sorry, that's not how I roll. I just need help tracking down a Ukrainian who might be in town looking for me. Hmm. Sounds like you're in a bind. Could be. That's what I'm trying to find out. Good luck. Not my problem. A while ago, one of your shipments of P90s was diverted. I can make sure that kind of thing stops. See, I don't like people in my business. I see a friendship has gotten off to a bad start. Friendships are about give and take. You give me the information, I will take care of your shipment issues. How about I give you one more chance to get out of here before I shoot you in the face? I 
that Ukrainian I mentioned. He brought a few extra guys in the town with him. I get down. A flashbang grenade temporarily impairs hearing and vision. I get down. It makes fighting back or attempting escape futile and dangerous to civilians. So if you have to shoot blind, it's better to use a camera than a gun. In a hostage situation, the same things that get you killed will extend your life. Hey, 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 look. I don't know who you guys are, okay? But I, I got no problem with you. And I guarantee that you don't want no problems with me or the people that I work with, huh? So let, let's just cut this thing off right here. Huh? No harm, no foul. Everybody goes home and, and we, just, we just forget all about it. If you have money, you'll live till you pay. If you have information, You'll live till you talk. Hey, come on, look, you got the wrong guy. I'm not part of this. I just met him for the first time five minutes ago. What do you think they're gonna do? Drop you off at Starbucks, give you a couple of bucks for a cup of coffee? Shut up, we'll figure it out. Hey, hey, come on, serious, man, you got the wrong guy. And if you have nothing, you're pretty much disposable. Get a truce, do my truce. But Excuse me. Uh, we need to keep this area clear. Oh, uh, well, you know, I was I was in here and I, I ran out when those men showed up. My husband, he's still in here. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> the F.E. Sam, I'm at the cafe where Michael was meeting Beck. What's wrong? He's gone. So is Beck. An extraction team. Professionals from what I'm over here. Jesus, you think Mikey's Ukrainian made his move already? No, oh, he moved quicker than anyone expected. Wait a second. He took a picture of the team. You know what? We gotta find Strickler. Maybe he can put some names to these faces. I don't trust that guy. Yeah, well, he's all we got. Plus, it'll give us a chance to kick his teeth. Well, I'm wearing my teeth kicking heels. Stay in five. There is something wrong. Ah, no, not at all. <laughs> why would you think that? So why are you packing your gun in your bulletproof vest? Look, it's nothing to worry about. I just gotta run an errand. Really? So tell me about this errand. Oh. Hey, сколько еще ехать? After the adrenaline rush of an operation comes a crash. Heightened reflexes and awareness don't last. Two boring hours of driving later, even the sharpest killing machine lets down his guard. You don't want to meet this guy, Chuch. When it's time, get to the back door and open it. What are you doing? Just remember to set your jaw. You traitor, you son of a... Are you going to sell me out? Hey, I will kill you!
Look, Maddie, how many times do we have to go over this? I mean, we're just doing a little practice thing. Mike is fine, I swear. You can hear some swearing if you don't tell me the truth. Sam, what is taking you so long? Oh, look, there's Fiona. She never shows up in this trouble. I'm telling you, there's no trouble. Fee's just here to pick me up for a movie. Well, I'm in the mood for a matinee. Should I bring a gun, too? Madeline. Don't you patronize me. I have a right to know what's happening with my son. Did I fall apart the last time you told me what was going on? Someone took Michael. They took him where? The last want me to find out. The second you find out anything, I expect you to call me. Okay. Sam, let me remind you, you're staying in my guest room. All right, you call me, or with God as my witness, I will smother you in your sleep. All right, all right, we'll call. Look, look, stop, 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 right now. Look, Beck, we don't have time for this. You want to shoot me? You'll have the same problem, just with one last bullet. Yeah, well, maybe I'll drag your ass back to that road as a peace offering. Huh? Yeah, I deal with Russians all the time. You speak the language? No, I got guys for that. Well, you better learn fast. Chechik didn't hire goodwill ambassadors. They're not going to wait for a translator to show up before they start shooting. So maybe I'll put a bullet in your head in front of them, huh? That don't require a lot of translation. Listen, Beck, I got you into this. I will get you out. If we head east... What, you want to go deeper into the woods? Man, we got enough problems without adding alligators to the list. You can go whatever way you want. I'm going... I'm going this way. Beck, save your ammo. A few days wandering around here starving, you're going to want to eat that last bullet. You want to survive, Beck? Follow me. Michael's friends, right? Where is he? Juan Mejito? Don't look so concerned, sweetheart. Let me guess, our favorite spies in a bit of a jam, and you're hoping I can get him out. Uh, I wish it was that simple. I was the one telling him to keep his head down until I could find out more about who was after him. And? I have some calls out. You've got some calls out? I suggest you try harder. No need for theatrics. I want Michael alive as much as the next guy. Unless, of course, the next guy's Ukrainian. You know that fella? Michael took this picture before he was snatched. Oh, yeah. I know that pretty boy. His name is Vlad... Vyrubin? Vyubin? Uh, B-something. Anyway, last time I checked, he's part of a criminal syndicate run by Pyotr Chechik. Chechik? That rings a bell. Mikey met him back in 97 when he blew up a... Well, let's just say that he really hates Mikey. Where can we find Chechik? Huh. Well, guys with records like him don't cross borders too easily. If he is in Miami, he didn't fly commercial. 
I know some of the pilots that do the Miami Eastern Europe route. Could put out some feelers. Give me a couple hours. I'm not giving you a couple of minutes. I want names now. When on the run, subtle things like broken branches, flattened grass, and disturbed ground can give you away to an expert tracker. An inexperienced tracker may require a more obvious trail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? What, what, are you trying to get us killed? No, followed. We need to lead them deeper in. Turn their strengths to weaknesses. Their bulletproof vests will get hotter. Their guns will get heavier. We got to get them farther from their supplies. Hey, whatever you got planned, okay? They're far enough already. Beck, listen to me. No, you listen to me, man. I, I grew up in the Florida backwoods, man. I spent my whole life trying to get out. I fought my way down to Miami so I'd never have to swat bugs in another damn mangrove swamp. And now you just drag me back. Man, I said we make our stand right here. You want to make a stand? Yes. Can we make the stand over there? Okay. Still think you can take them? There's five of them. I got five rounds. Oh, that's your plan. You have a hundred percent kill rate with a handgun. Look, it's better than running around in a damn swamp. Hey, I ain't too bad with a gun. I might teach you something. You fire, they'll get our position. They'll flank us and put us down. We have to set the ram. Gotta lead them just a little farther in. And then we strike. And then we strike. Looks like the guy is strictly sad for you to check into the country. Why anyone would allow him to pilot a plane is beyond me. Oh, great. A drunk with a gun. This calls for subtlety. I'm too subtle. I don't like to, but I can. What is a sweet little girl like you doing in a big, bad bar like this? I'm looking for a big, bad man. He's a cute. Come with me or say goodbye to your two closest friends. Look, I may not be Rambo, okay, but if you're making a track, it doesn't have to work. They'll see it, they'll figure we're close, they'll fan out, and we'll injure one of them. Oh, we're injuring them? It'll slow them down. If I have to drag a complaining pain in the ass through the woods, they can too. Give me your shoelaces. You know what, maybe it's time we listen to the guy with the gun for a while. Fine. Now, give me your shoelaces. Give me your shoelaces. Please. Hello. Yeah, Maddie, you wanted me to call, so I'm calling. Did you find Michael? No, but we found some guy who might be able to tell us where he is. Look, we're leaving Hollandale right now. We're heading over to the loft to ask him some questions. You bring him here instead. Well, Madeline... It's closer than Michael's loft, and you don't have time to waste.
свежая. Они где-то здесь, рядом. Гординцы на две группы. Одна идет с этой стороны, другая с этой. Все следите. Fanning out in a search pattern is a great way to cover a lot of area, but it also divides your forces. Military units are a lot like marching bands. Take out the guy conducting the operation and you'll throw everyone out of sync. Pretty soon, all you have left is sound and fury. Two guns, explosives, serious knife. We could even ours real quick. Not until they call Chechik. We need to lure him out of here. What are you talking about? We get Chechik, we can end this. It's the only way. But you want more men out here? When you started out, who was the biggest hijacker in Miami? Cuban guy, Montez. How did you take him down? Well, I paid one of his guys to let me into his place, and then I stuck a gun in his mouth until he decided to move back to Havana. He dealt with a problem at the top. That's what we're doing here. Well, what if they don't call Chechik? They will. They're in over their heads, and I know it. Boss, у нас проблемы. Меня напали. See? Don't get cocky. frequent flyer miles with a lot of shady characters. I wonder what the feds would think. I told you, man, all I do is fly the plane. <laughs> I doubt the boys in suits would see it that way. See, Chechik is a bad guy. War crimes, murder for hire. Why do you think I'm keeping my mouth shut? That guy is more afraid of Chechik than he is of us. We're gonna have to squeeze him harder. If by squeeze you mean choke. He can't talk if he can't breathe, Fee. He can whisper. I have good hearing. You push him too hard, he's gonna snap, okay? And then he's just gonna start making crap up. Oh, Simax wisdom. Hey. How you doing? You comfortable? You need anything? Um, mind if I sit? You want a cigarette? Mind if I do? <laughs> mm. So 
sorry, I don't mean to bother you. It's just I need a little peace and quiet. They get loud when they're angry. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Luckily, this place is well insulated. You can't even hear a peep from that side. Probably why they like it so much. Mm. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't give you the wrong impression. I have never once ever, ever seen them make anyone suffer. If they don't think you'll break, they end it quick. You sure you don't want a cigarette? It's good for the nerves. It's not like you have to worry about getting cancer anymore. <laughs> Good, huh? Well, I don't micromanage you. I'm not micromanaging you either. You dropped them off by seaplane a few hours ago, a small cabin in the middle of the swamp. There's no address, but I got the latitude and longitude. Oh. Oh, honey, I've met guys like this before. They're only brave when people are yelling at them. So you're gonna go get my son, or do I have to do that too? When fighting in the wilderness, the biggest threats are often the ones you don't see. Dehydration, exhaustion, and nerves. But boatloads of hostiles don't help either. There's Chacha. Damn. Is he a Russian word for hard ass? If we can get him into the woods, we'll have enough cover to separate him from his men. You sound pretty confident for a guy hiding in the jungle and a pair of designer slacks. We wanted Chechik, there he is. Yeah, along with more men, more guns, and damn airboats, man. We go, we take out Chechik and all those guys that come after us. The men who work for you, if you were taken out, what would they do? Shoot the bastards who did it. Really? You really think so? You said you had no friends. All right, think like a businessman. How long would they stomp around in this swamp once the guy who cuts their checks is out of commission? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, what'll it take to rent one of these babies for a couple hours? 90 bucks, plus insurance, 25 for basic coverage, 15 for supplemental liability. Does that cover small arms fire? <laughs> uh, what my friend here is saying is, uh, we're not big on paperwork. 50 extra bucks, you guys weren't even here. Look, we just disappeared. Thank you, sir. Я тут с Чечиком. Ой, реки. Ты их порядки. Он слушает нас. Как я буду за ним гоняться со сломанной ногой? Ты прав. That's Chechen. Some things never change. Давайте! Пошли, пошли! So we get him when he goes into the woods, huh? 
Oh, he ain't going into the woods. You have to get him to move. The point is... So the point is that you wanted him to call for backup and they did. Okay, now we're out number five to one. In battle, not even the best laid plans survive contact with the enemy. If you want to survive, you have to be willing to improvise. Right. If you distract his men, oh, wait, wait, I'll move. Wait, 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 wait. Distract a dozen guys with guns. Forget it. You and me are done. I'd rather take my chances with Mr. Hardass over there. Back, stop. Get on. Back. Hey. You're gonna get yourself killed. So what you gonna do? Shoot me? Huh? Give away your position? Of course, there's such a thing as too much improvisation. Hey, it's like you said. I'm a businessman. I got something they want. Now it's time to negotiate. Hey! I wanna make a deal! You want Western, I can give you Western! <laughs> Да, быстро. You think you reach that bank underwater? Yes, I have to. shot you when you first interrupted my coffee. Let's not dwell on missed opportunities. <laughs> you know, I, I got 25 people in my payroll. I got, I got people who report to people who report to people. And here I am alone in the middle of nowhere about to die from a damn leg wound. Well, you're not alone. <laughs> no! <laughs> the hell I'm not. What you gonna stick around and watch me die? No, we're gonna get through this together. Are you, are you crazy? Man, you seen what happened to people with leg wounds out here. Look, it doesn't have to be that way. But you have to decide right now. Are you ready to trust me and figure out a plan, or do you want to die out here alone? Is it really that tough of a call? Delaying tactics aren't the most glamorous part of a battle plan, but they're often the most important. Slowing the enemy down buys you time to prepare the ground ahead of him, and that, more than almost anything else, wins battles. What is your friend? I got nothing to say to you. Where is Michael? What should I tell you? You're just gonna kill me anyway. Maybe. Maybe not. You're nobody. I'm here for Weston. You tell me where he is and I'll give you some water and bandages for the wound. You see this? I swore on the cross. In the eyes of my children. All right. All right. Look that way. But there's a swamp. Where the airboats can't go. 
trojie. Zostańcie z nim, póki my wynajdziemy kulu wysoko. Wszyscy ostatni są mną. For a spy, there's no shame in retreat. When faced with a more powerful enemy, you're trained to get out of the way and keep moving. It's not about running away or giving up. The goal of any retreat is to find the right place to marshal your resources and make a stand. Military history is filled with stories of small forces taking on larger ones. Whether it's David fighting Goliath or the French resistance fighting the Nazis, the strategy is basically the same. You have to choose the right ground, deploy your resources carefully, and remember that the greatest weapon in any battle is surprise. Well, well, Michael. Here we are again. After so many years, you, me, plenty of guns. I almost forgot how much I enjoyed the hunt. You know, I thought after serving ten years for war crimes, you would have found a new hobby. Oh, ten years just made me want to find you more. Never get over the one that got away. Well, I'm flattered. You brought a whole army just to find little old me? Times change, Michael. An army that big, I get to fold my laundry. I work for Fyodor Markov now. Markov? You know, I liked you KGB officers better before you sold out. You know, at least you believed in something. You should be happy, Michael. We all live an American dream. Dreams spies like you help make. Open borders, free markets. Funding from the West. So many backgrounds, so many people working together just to drag every secret out of Michael Weston's head before we cut it off and feed it to the dogs. But enough talk. As much as I'd like to catch up, you should have turned your radio off. See you later! See you later! <laughs> Get your men to drop their guns. Do it now. All right, all right. You see the lads? You see the lads? Stop the bullet. Nothing you have to worry about anymore. Easy, huh? Go. I expect some serious memory loss, you understand? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You think this is over? Shevchenko's look out for the real. 
Mark of Wolf behind you. Don't you know it's rude to drop names? Yeah, it's stupid too. Especially when a nobody like me can drop big ones. All those KGB colonels in the Russian mafia? Well, they work for an old KGB general who happens to be a business associate of mine. Now, I don't want to name names, but he controls about 800 miles of the Siberian oil pipeline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do all the import-export work. You nearly cost him a lot of money today. I'm gonna have to give him a call, see how they feel about that. I give you 50,000, and I swear you'll never see me again. I know I won't. Get this fool out of here. Stop. 100. Come on. Don't be stupid. Come on. There's not enough money in the world. Mikey, next time you get kidnapped, can you stay out of the Everglades? There ain't gonna be no next time. At least not for these boys. You still owe me a shipment of P90s. Don't think I forgot. I'll make sure they get to you. You know, one day I think we're going to look back on this as a nice day out in nature. Eh, don't push it. I'll just say this. You said you were a good friend to have. Could be worse. So, what brings you two out to this neck of the woods? Oh, well, you know, it's such a sunny day. So you might meet these. I'm beginning to think I should get you one of those harness things. You know, like they have for toddlers. You've been wandering off a little too much these days. It's nothing I can't handle, Mom. No. See, you don't get to act that casually when I'm interrogating strange men in my garage to save your life. I'm sorry about that, Mom. Whatever. Getting answers out of him is a hell of a lot easier than getting out of you. Be careful. Okay? So, do you like my new curtains? You hung your curtains by yourself? Actually, you know, some very nice people came over and did it. They were sent over by your friend Strickler. Wonderful. Try not to wrinkle them when you're sweeping them for bugs. No gift basket? Michael, so nice to have you back in town. Uh, no, no gift basket. I got you something better. Your share of the Ukrainian deal. Turns out a group of Baltic separatists wanted Chechik out of the picture just as much as you did. So quick negotiating on my part, and voila, your day trip to the swamp paid for itself. I didn't fight off Chechik for the cash. I know. You did it for you. This is just a wonderful byproduct. And this is just the beginning. I can get you whatever you want. Let me save you some time, Strickler. I'm never gonna work with you. Not for the money, not for the yogurt, for the curtains. I'm not a mercenary. Okay. But, Michael, you gotta ask yourself this. What is it that you want? What is it you deserve? Man, with your skills, with your background, burned and the cold with nothing. Don't answer right now. Just think about it. I'll be around. 